Hey man, we got a lot of NBA 2K25 news and rumors. Uh, there will be a demo. VC prices will be more. Workouts will take longer. The 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 badge regression is returning. Hey, before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like, man. Show love. Now, firstly, 2K Intel tweet out, name a better feeling. Y'all name a better feeling down below. Y'all know when y'all got your grand badge. If y'all played 2K17, that was a crazy feeling, man. Y'all let me know if y'all remember that feeling. But LD2K commented, Sunset Beach. Hey, are, are we getting the stick street ball parks returning? It's so funny how courts from nine years ago, eight, ten years ago, they look better than the ones now that supposedly have greater graphics, just based off the vibrancy, the, the colors, the, the lightness, all that. Isn't that crazy? You know, didn't believe me, but in 2K15, bro, there were moving cars in the background. Like, what? you're playing on the court in Old Town. There were moving cars in the background. Isn't that crazy? In the 2K16 sunset, there were people on uh in the water park just going, right? The the sharks were moving like in the tank, right? Isn't that crazy? They they try to put that back in this year, and them things don't even move. How? Bro, it just don't make no sense, but hopefully they make some dope parks like this. This park was a little too bright, just a little, but I tend to like the parks that are extremely bright. I think the game needs a, a lot more brightness, but uh, yeah. So people saying Jason Tatum's gonna be on the cover, that's kind of crazy because he didn't win the MVP, my boy. Dropped a little trailer of him, and um, he didn't win MVP, right? So it's like, to do this, it's kind of like a, Click, 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 click. <laughs> He's going to be the cover. Y'all let me know if y'all are excited for that. I don't care about covers. You see, they changed their logo, all that, and they put it right here at the end. Hey, man. That's what it's looking like, my boy. Now, this guy tweeted out, can't wait for the same game six years in a row. Now, of course, this is an NPC, right? But look at how many views and likes this got, right? So... This is true and it's not true, right? And I'm gonna give y'all a point. We're gonna get into the no demo rumors and all that too. Now he's right, but not right for the reasons he thinks. We have the same issues every year, like shooting's broken, shooting's not consistent, steals broken, paint defense horrible, lateral quickness horrible, dribbling slow, everything's clunky. You know, like the issues, but Game to game, the gameplay is drastically different, right? But still at the same time, the same. If y'all get what I mean, right? But this is further to my point to why you shouldn't cater to negative 1% casuals. They do not notice those little intricacies that us people who notice the, the drastic difference between, for instance, 2K19 and 2K20, right? Majority of the fan base can't tell they can replicate their little sim npc style in every mode set a screen fade oh my god oh it's the same in every year you can replicate that every year right so they be doing a lot of talking and they don't even know what they're talking about bro you feel me that that's why you should cater to your your hardcore base because the game's always going to be the same to them, no matter what. Like, it depends on where they play their reality. They don't really understand the mechanics, how to dribble, how to do this and that. They just don't get the game. Like, listening to someone that doesn't understand something at all is insane. You feel me? But their their egos are very high and all this and that. But they, they don't understand the gameplay at all. I can understand for casual things like clothing and all that but when it comes to the gameplay they don't understand the game they're 21 percent 31 percent they don't even play online you feel me they don't they don't know how to do an acrobatic layup so to cater over cater to that is insane what 2k really be doing is they cater to the idea that they think the casuals want like the reason there's no defense in the game is for the casual negative win percent every casual set will say that they want defense in the game crazy but 2k thinks they don't want no d because then they'll never be able to score right that's how they design their game it's not good now look your bridge shoot everyone no problem with these guys but they are going to be doing a lot of uh these tweets 
don't be alarmed don't be stressing they are getting them views my boy okay this over 100k on twitter he's not really invested in the game none of that bro okay ever 2k dibble dabble okay now he has no sources he's just you know a pair hey maybe he talking to mike wayne but he, he really not bro but look gameplay pro play will be much more improved uh doubt it this is just a marketing gimmick that they are pushing pro play was not nothing new this year all they did was slow down the gameplay and make it clunky um you could replicate whatever people are saying you could replicate in other years same animations throughout the years you could do now so it's like change it's just a marketing gimmick but as y'all know, when 2K implements something, they try to hone it in more and more every year, but it's it's usually just done wrong every single time, bro. Seasons are still in the game. Of course, they will never leave. The city is likely back in the game. Most likely, man, adrenaline boosts are back. Um, hey, it could be. The 2K23 adrenaline boosts were horrible. Y'all let me know if y'all like the adrenaline thing. The adrenaline boost this year, again, they were done wrong like it wasn't a factor in the gameplay right um when you bump someone and all this and that it didn't seem to be a factor when um a defreach it didn't even matter like it lowered the success enough it was just pointless it's just the gameplay devs they don't understand coding but they like to tell us that we don't understand coding um this a just didn't really matter and it shouldn't really matter because NBA players are 0.0001% of the world. They are cardio gods. Okay. They don't get tired and into 21. You feel me? They basically have unlimited stamina. <laughs> People could dribble in real life for hours. No one has asthma in real life. And don't think I'm saying that to mean that I want to dribble for 20 seconds. N no one does that. Any year, any 2K. Um, more realistic gameplay due to pro being improved this is cap for some reason people think slow and clunky and delayed is realistic don't know why um 2k24 is easily one of the most unrealistic 2ks just like 2k18 was but they said 2k18 was very realistic but it was actually not when 2k tries to make the game realistic they really make it unrealistic people need to stop using arcade and realistic terms they need to actually say casual. That's what 2K is actually doing. They're making the game more casual, less skill based. That's what they're doing. People hide behind this realism and um, all this and that, but they're making it more casual, bro. More accessible. Now, Jabridge got another one, right? No demo. Look, 142K. Okay, so don't be alarmed, man. When you see all this stuff, don't be alarmed. <laughs> but, uh, definitely man i actually are not getting a demo we definitely need a demo even though people go against their own kind man it, it's so it's just so sad bro we're all in the same boat we're trying to get a better game so we have something fun to play to escape for life get get our little fix whatever it is right people will be like y'all don't deserve a demo you break the game then you complain and roast the game dude. <sighs> it's a sick they gave us a demo two weeks before we could figure out so many problems get so many fixes instead of right when it releases then it being a big commotion among so many other different things this will help you get a better product we figured out certain builds before the game came out right y'all be giving 2k too many outs you feel me as a business this is better for them da, da, da. dude stop defending roast them your satisfaction matters how happy you are matters this is why other games give out demos to figure out issues to test servers because they want to make their customers happy 2k doesn't care because they got such a monopoly over this they really run this this is like one internet service <laughs> like so so they can do stuff like this like the no demo right but it was very good for us y'all y'all gotta stop attacking your own just because you got cooked by a certain type of player stop with all that hate and envy and you know i've been bullied my whole life mentality it's time to evolve in life my boy um remove the workout to get big it's such a horrible idea bro 2k really be messing up the ball nobody asked for this but they swore we asked they they swear we be asking for stuff we be getting i, I ain't hear no big community saying caitlin clark wnba edition probably 
badge regression will be improved uh, i don't know bro a lot of y'all y'all probably don't know what happened with the badge regression but basically he just made it to where it didn't even matter you didn't even need floor setters um these past few months bro i don't even look at it i don't even set up my badges it's so easy to maintain your badges and um horrible zach l like <laughs> You gonna implement something it don't even matter like a lot of people didn't like aggression so i think uh they should listen to the what the overall community wants instead of trying to push ideas that most of the community doesn't really like or want um if we're paying for a hundred dollars a bill um i want all my badges that i paid for you feel me um it was very annoying and took an annoying game like i'm trying to have fun and annoyed versus other players not the game right um builder would be the same format i can see that too but again he's just throwing stuff out there that he know will go y'all let me know if y'all like the builder if y'all like badge regression you know talk to me and i'm really hearing that female my players will be in this year or next year you know now bridge got a <laughs> now another one old gen is likely to get one more game released i think they're gonna keep going with it until the next generation consoles to be honest because there was a tweet that had went viral and they said that half the users that are um gaming or are, are on the old school. so it's like why would 2k stop getting that bag half the gaming users are on old gen i wish they would stop because they're split that makes us get a worse product i know some people like to say Oh, it's two different teams, blah, blah, blah. More devs means better products. More things get fixed more efficiently, faster, lower workloads. It gets done better. Less skip steps. More people on a certain level is better for the game. It's common sense. Like there's so many um, broken game than the game just not getting fixed all year. bro. Y'all might not know about them, but I do, right? There's a lot of things, even this intricate things that just don't get fixed um something i've been asking for years and telling community managers like private dms and, and skype discord oh, not skype in discord calls you know talking to devs like hey something simple i've been questing this since 2k18 telling them directly can you split the stage and park records and they still have not implemented a lot of things i've been telling them they do not implement it bro you feel me so it's like they're just here to control the community and calm you down bro but it never worked with me my boy to make you feel like your voice being heard but because man you could separate 3v3 pro in but you can't separate the stage in the park you just you implement it because annoying back in uh 2k17 right was saying it should be fine he was the only person and then you just never fix it again it's crazy my nba will be improved uh, trailer we already know when the trailers come now look he's saying this to get the people going right steals improved as low rated sealers get much sluggish animations that will punish them when they reach it's already like that um then he says while high rated with good timing and opportunity will be able to pickpocket at a much higher rate isn't this how every tool could work i don't know foot planting has been much improved and realistic now look just uh it's to get you going it's to get you enticed my boy don't fall for it even when 2k come out i don't know how 2k24 pulled it off you feel me because 2k23 was so bad in majority of people's eyes and then when they started rolling out the news they got you again they didn't get me i knew but they got you i seen y'all you know y'all was hype now 2k24 monstrosity okay but the double twisters they probably will say that you know just so trying to uh garner the most viewership right roast the micro transactions w the gameplay the, you know they're trying to garner the most viewership because people who don't really like the gameplay don't really watch videos about the game right so you know they're just fake frauds they don't feel how they say but um it's been another big l right man 2k25 will be crazy <laughs> Now look shoot shoots another one right he he gonna be tweeting this stuff all all year man so just just be careful man don't 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 get your hopes up hey y'all click this video this hilarious wreck video if you don't laugh i owe you a hundred dollars gotta watch the whole video click the video but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.